Hello, this is a guitar tutorial for Rachel and Vil Ray's song, Do Friends Fall In Love? So the plan for this tutorial is first I'm going to outline some general principles to think about uh, when trying to replicate Vil Ray's guitar playing. And then I'm going to break down the verse chords. And while breaking down the verse chords, I'm going to pay specific attention to the exact inflections and nuances he adds in the intro. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the B section and we'll focus more just on the chords. Um, and then, yeah, there's a brief part that's different at the end, uh, and, and that should be the whole tutorial. One of the reasons Bill Ray's rhythmic guitar playing, I think, sounds so good is because he keeps this constant rhythm um, using his thumb. So if I play the first, if I hold the first chord shape, regardless of what he's playing melodically on the upper strings, he's always got something going like this. <laughs> So it's a sort of alternating between hitting a, ba a root note and then kind of almost gently brushing over the, the lower strings with your thumb. Sometimes he doesn't even brush. Sometimes he just plays the bass note again. But it's this, generally speaking, it's this feel of on beats two and four, you want this kind of, as if there's a second guitar in the background. So to play through the, the chords of the verse, it sounds something like this. That's kind of the most important thing to master. I would say that if you're struggling with the the feeling of the other parts which I'm about to show, come back to this. Come back to just playing it with your thumb. So more specifically, how the song begins is he's going to start on this D over A chord. Uh, I'll have the chord diagrams up on the screen. But basically, in the, for the first one, you're kind of using your index finger on the uh, sixth string, and then your ring finger has to basically bar the bottom four strings. So it's, that's not unnecessarily an easy shape, but uh, I think it's how he's playing it. So you're going to pluck using your thumb and those um, and your fingers together. Um, you're going to slide in chromatically, so and then slide up into the first shape. So it sounds like and then you're going to get yeah, that first kind of thumb with the bass line strumming comes in. So. And then when you hit the bass note again, you're going to roll through strings four, three, and two. So it's... And then on that last two string hit, you're also going to hit the bass note again. So that goes. And then on the upbeat into the next bar, you're going to change to this shape here, an A minus six. So on the A minor six shape, you're going to have an up pluck on strings two, three, and four. Beat one is with your middle finger in that top E string. And then you're going to pluck up on strings one, two, and three, and then a sort of gentle thumb stroke. So it's, it sounds like this. And then I think again, when you pluck, you're going to pluck the strings together. So coming from before, it's going to sound like this. There, basically you just repeat a bass line cycle. Now you're going to change to a G shape, G major, uh, and you're going to play it like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to, um, on the uh, at the beginning of this chord, you're going to pluck straight the root note and strings uh, four and three together, and then you're going to hit on the upbeat. Uh, using, I use my ring finger to do it, you're going to hit the second string, so. And then you're going to do, again, another thumb downstroke. And then quickly, this pinky is going to shift down to take the uh, fifth fret of the second string, and then, um, and you're going to pluck that with your ring finger. And after you've hit that second string uh, on the fifth fret, you've got another bass note coming, and then sort of a gentle up brush on the bottom strings, and then that thumb down brush on the top strings. So really slowly on this chord, it sounds like this. 
and then on the upbeat you're going to change to this shape here which is a um i guess a c9 chord and you're going to hit you're just going to make sure you hit that high uh that third fret on the uh high e string and then you're going to play that so so on beat one regular thumb pluck bass note just a simple um, strum down with the thumb after that. And then you're gonna shift your root note down to uh, the, a G on the low E string. And then you're gonna pluck strings four and six together to begin a sort of walk up through the strings plucking with your fingers. So it sounds like this. And again, using that double bass note. So, Coming in from the previous chord, that sounds like this. Now you're going to go back to the original chord and you're going to pluck strings 4, 3, and 2 um, uh, with a bass note again. So, yeah, pluck those together, an up pluck, including the high E string, and then a thumb brush through. Now you're going to go up to this uh, B7 shape. And you're going to go up on strings four, three, and two, and a bass note, and then up on strings one, two, and three. So those sound together. Basically the same on both of those chords. Then you're going to go to this shape here, which is a, a E9. So upbeat on strings one, two, and three. And then this sort of muted pluck up with your index finger on string four. And then you're gonna shift the shape down. Uh, I'll have the chord name on the screen. I've forgotten what this one's called. So, so I'm using my index finger to hit that sixth fret on the second string. And then you have to change quite quickly into this A7 shape. So how that fits coming in from before is got an up pluck with your pinky placed on the seventh fret of the second string so then you're gonna hear just a regular D regular D pluck together and a simple thumb down stroke then you're gonna go to this B flat 7 shape and you're gonna do a similar roll to what we had before so pluck on the upbeat into the uh, A7 chord and then you're gonna put your pinky back there and up pluck on strings one two and three so how that sounds is um, I'll play that again and then you're gonna go to this an A7 flat 13 shape uh, that really naturally leads back to loop the verse. So how that all sounds together, I'll play it really slowly. So that's exactly how he plays um, the guitar in the intro. But again, you can mess around with this idea, keeping that, if you keep this feel going, you're at kind of a liberty to do whatever you want. So for example, I'll try and play it slightly differently, but in a way that also works. So it would be. So leading into the B section, this is kind of the end of the second verse, if you like, uh, the chords change slightly. So it's, do friends fall in love like this? So all I did there is when I'm on that kind of final D chord, 
I'm going to slide down to this D flat. And then I'm going to go to the C sharp seven shape. I'll have the diagram up on the screen. And I think the best way to play this, which he does in most of the versions is, so pluck uh, strings five and two together, up pluck on string four, and then a down stroke on with your thumb. So, and then you're gonna go into, so this is where he's singing, a lot that once was merely warm, now blazes. So that's where we are in the song. Um, and again, you're just gonna, So it's all about combining your thumb and that lilting pattern with just any sorts of inflections that you think sound nice. You can just focus on keeping the chord going. You might want to do a rhythm like that or something. So what I would probably do is go and add this minus six in that F sharp uh, chord because I think it sounds really nice. Again, on that C, you can sort of put the bass note down to a um, uh, down to a G sharp. Now blazes with an ardent desire. Now I think it sounds really nice to go thumb pluck together six and four up on your middle finger string three, and then as you up pluck with your uh, ring finger on the second string you want to kind of do that down thumb stroke so it's and then you obviously want that high note so coming in from the beginning of the b section and now you're going to go up to an a and then it's time the monsters just then you're going to go to this sort of E7 shape. Moon's harder than a fire, fire. So those chords are, um, you go back, so after the E7, you're going to go back to the A, then to this sort of uh, B flat 7 chord, and then back to the A, and then pick it up with that 13 that sort of leads you back into the, uh, into the verse. So yeah, those essentially cover the B section chords and now you have the verse chords. So the last thing to note is that it changes a little bit at the end. I'm not gonna focus on any sort of uh, picking ideas here. I'm just gonna go through the chords. So this is the part where he's singing, as friends we lived before. So it's, it's gonna start, as friends we lived before. And you're gonna go to a B minor is what I hear. So it's friends we lived before. And then you're gonna, and we'll live evermore. So now you're gonna get that really hitting that open E string on this E9 shape. As friends we live before, and we'll live evermore. And then you're gonna play a really nice, basically a two five one chord progression to get back uh, to to end the song. So it's together. Play a uh, E minor nine chord. Two friends. An A13 chord in love, and then you're gonna end it with a D major nine. Um, yeah, so that's just a really uh, lovely way that they end the song. So that basically sums it up. Uh, I hope I've given you some ideas about generally how Vil Ray is playing the guitar and how he's achieving that effect of a beautiful rhythm and you know almost a lead guitar. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next tutorial.